Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. In April of 2024, Transport Canada made it a little bit easier for foreign drone pilots to fly in Canada. Let's see what they did and how to apply. Prior to this new exemption, foreign pilots, namely anyone who isn't a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, needed to apply for a full Special Flight Operations Certificate, or SFOC, in order to fly a drone over 250 grams in Canada. This required completing a, well, a pretty complex form, detailing every aspect of the anticipated flight or flights, and it required having a drone pilot certificate back in your home country. Typical lead times for receiving approval of an SFOC like this was around 60 days. Now this impacted tourists with drones, as well as even foreign students studying here in Canada. So this new exemption makes things a bit easier, but foreign pilots do still need to apply for an SFOC. Let's walk through the, the exemption and how it makes things easier. It's only four pages and the real meat of it is entirely on page one. The catch is that it is phrased in such gobbledygook that it is really difficult to figure out. For example, in the introduction it says, Foreign pilots are exempt, blah, 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 from paragraphs 903.01c and f to o. So from there, you have to figure out all, we, all these lettered paragraphs are. And then in the next section called purpose, it says the exemption means, guess what? You can now apply under paragraph 903.01i instead of 903.01c. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you dig all into all of these items, it means two things. You can apply for an SFOC even if you don't have a drone pilot certificate in your home country. Why didn't they just say that? And the other part of it means that you don't have to provide items F through O over here, which basically means you don't have to describe your drone, exactly where you'll be flying, your procedures and checklists, and all this other stuff. I don't understand how anyone managed to get through this before, unless they were paying someone to fill it out for them. Honestly, it was a little bit crazy. Now, the next part of the exemption says that you can't be providing a commercial air service, which is defined as any use of aircraft for hire or reward. In other words, the exemption applies, well, to recreational drone pilots or institutional use like education. If you're doing commercial work, you still need to provide all the detailed stuff in the SFOC application. The next section lists the conditions that you need to follow. The first item says, well, you need to have at least your basic RPAS pilot certificate in Canada. And of course, if you're flying somewhere that requires an advanced, you'll need an advanced certificate. And then the second condition is a repeat that you cannot fly commercially if you want the exemption. By the way, when you apply for a foreign pilot SFOC, whether with or without the exemption, you don't need to register your drone via the drone management portal. Instead, you need to have your SFOC application approved, and then all you do is you stick your SFOC number on your drone instead of, an, of a registration number. So in summary, Foreign pilots must still apply for an SFOC if they intend to fly a drone over 250 grams. But the good news is that you only need to provide really basic stuff like your name, contact information, and the date range you're applying for. And for the date range, feel free to put an entire calendar year. And remember, you don't need an SFOC if you're flying a drone under 250 grams. Just fly safely and be mindful of a few simple rules. I've got a complete video on flying sub 250 gram drones. To apply for an SFOC, go to the Transport Canada drone safety website, look for this page called get permission for special drone operations, then click on apply for a foreign pilot or operator SFOC dash RPAS. On that page, read through the information and there's lots of good stuff there and click on application for an SFOC-RPAS form. Fill out the form electronically and send it to the email indicated on the website. With the new exemption, you are no longer required to provide detailed flight plan information. 
just the basics like your contact information and the dates required. One little oddity. The exemption says you can now apply with option I for other instead of C for foreign pilots. But as of late May, the form doesn't have an option I. So just go ahead and select C for an operator or pilot for the type of SFOC. Note that the exemption applies only for recreational or, well, at least non-commercial operations. If you're flying commercially, for example, for a film company or something like that, you will need to provide more details with your, your SFOC application. Number three, you don't need to have a drone pilot certificate in your home country, but you do need to have at least a Canadian basic RPAS pilot certificate. I have a free study guide video for that. And finally, you do not need to register your drone. Just put your SFOC number on, on your drone once the SFOC is approved. You'll get a number. So the process for a foreign drone pilot to apply for permission to fly in Canada is quite a bit more streamlined now. And this also means the processing time is faster. Transport Canada is still insisting on 30 working days of advance notice now. That's six calendar weeks, but that's way better than the previous, previous 60 working days. Hopefully my explanation of how the exemption applies and the process you need will help you get through it. Welcome to Canada. Safe and happy flying.